All right, everybody, going to talk about two things. First and foremost, our main threat as we go into the weekend and into Monday here in North Alabama and the Tennessee Valley, for that matter, is going to be very heavy rain and potentially some strong gusty winds. We're still trying to get the timing down on the Monday storm system. One thing I'm seeing is a separation now from the Saturday, early Sunday system to the Monday system. It's delayed more. That does two things. It allows the storm system that's coming in Monday to be stronger, and it also gives more time for the atmosphere to recover. So I think your Sunday afternoon is starting to look better here in the Tennessee Valley. However, we're still watching the threat for severe weather, perhaps Sunday night into Monday morning, or maybe even Monday afternoon. That threat's going to be stronger and have more opportunity farther to the south I think there's a tornado threat that's starting to develop down there too because those parameters are beginning to come together. We're starting to see more instability, especially as you get south of Birmingham down to the Gulf Coast. I'm going to get into that. But first, I want to talk about what's going on with the atmosphere, the setup uh, for the heavy rainfall. And to do that, we're going to go ahead and take a look at what's going on uh, with, with the uh, water vapor imagery. And this shows a lot that's going on. As we take a look, notice here, this is Alabama's pretty much right in here. This is the Tennessee Valley under this uh, turquoise color. Uh, again, this is showing you the water vapor that's in the air. You can kind of see what's going on out here in Colorado. This is an area of low pressure that's it's kind of embedded within the uh, subtropical jet stream. So that's what's going to enhance the rainfall uh, today around here. And to the north, this is the severe weather uh, producer up in Wisconsin yesterday, that area low pressure is lifting off to the north and east. And there's another jet stream diving into northern California. You can kind of see it out here to the west. So overall, excessive rainfall is lining up along that subtropical jet stream here across uh, much of the Tennessee Valley uh, back into uh, eastern Texas and northern Louisiana. So that concern there is for the widespread heavy rain. Uh, today, we've got a few thunderstorms, and I think we're starting to see a sign that we're going to get more thunderstorm activity. Again, this is taped uh, right around 10, 15 uh, Friday morning. You can see those elevated thunderstorms to the north, and there's another batch here that's starting to move in uh, to the uh, southwest part of the viewing area here for North Alabama, and that is over here. Uh, watching these heavier downpours. So this is going to trend northeast. One thing I have noticed, though, is these showers here, the model guidance is off by about 50 miles or so because it, it had most of this in North Alabama this morning, and that's kind of passed us by. So that's something we'll watch uh, down the road as far as that threat goes uh, for the setup of the overall storm system. So overall today, we are expecting the potential for severe thunderstorms to pretty much stay... Uh, just off to our north and west. That's a marginal risk. Keep in mind, yesterday was a marginal risk up there in uh, southern parts of uh, Wisconsin and northern Illinois. So it's it's kind of a tough call uh, when it comes to these storms. Now, as we get into uh, tomorrow, we start to see the threat a little bit farther to the south, west. And again, that's to be expected down here across south central Texas. But the areas we're going to watch as we get into Sunday, this is going to be the Sunday time frame. What's likely going to happen is this yellow slight risk area may get expanded a little north and then over time into Monday into Georgia. And they, they do have that in their day four outlook. But notice the green. It's starting to get into the southern fringes of our viewing area, definitely towards Birmingham and Tuscaloosa and down to Auburn. I think that the big thing is trying to figure out the timing of all of this. So let's go through the model data here and what we're going to see in the model data. And again, I want to remind everyone, hey, this weather update, subscribe on my YouTube channel. Uh, weather's the main thing I do here, but uh, of course, I also talk about what's going on with uh, storms, of course, as we get into this. So one thing we're watching here is this is model data and I'm going to go through and I'm going to talk about the rain coming in. Tomorrow is just a super soaker here. So this is the GFS model and you can notice how the rain really starts to cover us up basically as we get into Saturday afternoon. 
Very heavy rain indicated in yellow back into Mississippi. This is where we're going to likely see this two and three inch rainfall and some embedded thunderstorms. I don't expect any severe weather here because we're just going to be too stable. There's actually a boundary coming in here too. So this moves east and this is Sunday morning. This is going to be around 7 a.m. So it starts to clear North Alabama, but moves down towards, say, Auburn, south of Birmingham, and it continues up into the Smoky Mountains. This is, again, this won't be severe. And as we continue on here into Sunday, here's where we're getting a break, I think. This is all the way into the early afternoon. So if you're planning a Super Bowl party and you're doing some outdoor grilling, things like that, it's starting to look a little better there, but it, it may be cooler, too. And this is about 7 o'clock in the evening. Kickoff is 5.30 Central Time. So the, the rain's going to start coming back in. And it's going to be this pseudo warm front that starts lifting to the north as we get into, uh, this is very early in the morning. Actually, this is about 9 o'clock Sunday night. So what we see is this area of low pressure down here in south central Louisiana. And that's going to be tracking east northeast over time. So what's going to be happening at this same time here, Sunday night, is that instability is going to be lifting north. So you see this 564, that's the thickness value. And typically 558 thickness line, you can have severe weather with that, uh, the thickness level. So that again, that's the height of the atmosphere. It's getting, it's getting taller, so to speak. So there's more room for thunderstorms to develop. There's more instability. But typically the severe threats uh, with an event like this is probably going to be closer to this uh, uh, 5640 line down here to the south. So this is going to be, and I'm going to get in closer here. Now we're kind of transitioning into talking about the severe weather threat. This is very early Monday morning. Uh, this is going to be around 3 o'clock in the morning. Here's that area of low pressure. And for severe weather, the eastern side of this area of low pressure is where, you, where it's going to set up. And anything lower than 1,008 millibars, you kind of see that isobar here moving in. So very heavy rain ahead of this. That's going to help stabilize North Alabama initially. But just take a look at this sounding here early in the morning. It's, it's marginally severe down here just south of Tuscaloosa. But the dew point 64, so that's kind of your threshold for the tornado development. And we're looking at the wind shear. The storm element velocity is around 231. The cape is what we're missing here initially, but we'll show you how this changes as we get into the rest of Monday. So here's a look at Monday morning, 7 a.m. Monday, heavy rain lifting northeast. That 5,580 uh, 5, thickness line is right across the state line up here into North Alabama and southern middle Tennessee. But the atmosphere is becoming more unstable down here farther to the south. Let's go ahead in time. This is going to take us up right around noon. Let's back that up. And the other thing you'll notice here is we've got a fairly significant cool down coming in right behind this. So that's going to influence and uh, the, uh, enhance updraft potential. At least it's going to help initiate thunderstorms. Sometimes when we get these storm systems come through, they're kind of borderline. There's no real cold air push coming in, but this one has one. So this is... Uh, just before the noon hour. So this is going to be around 10 o'clock in the morning or so. And you can see how the sounding now is marginal tornado. And we've also got Cape, which is now over 600 joules per kilogram. This is down towards Tuscaloosa. And the dew point holding at 64. And those mid-level winds are starting to pick up as well. The jet stream's uh, not quite here yet, but we've got roughly 145 knots coming in from the southwest here at jet stream level. So part of the jet is here, but not quite the jet streak. Low level jet stream, not overly impressive, but it's at about, it's like about 35 knots. So as we go forward here and take you up to about lunchtime Monday, we get back to the marginal threat here. But again, that's because the front's starting to pass through uh, that area there. Now, if we go back down here towards, say, Auburn and look at there, theirs is a definite tornado sounding here. So the Cape's near a thousand. So the EHI is over one. The storm relative velocity is like 208, one kilometer, and uh, surface to three kilometers, 247. So this would be supportive of tornadoes. 
um, as we go down the road. Again, what you're looking at here is the sounding data. And so this is the developing tornado threat, and it's because this Monday storm system is delayed somewhat. It's allowing more time, and it's still several days out, so it's there's time for more instability. So the fact that we've got this setup that's already basically showing up, uh, that's what we're concerned with. So overall, I want to take a look, just to briefly kind of reset the radar view there and kind of go back to, to this image here. So what this is showing us is the atmosphere south, farther south. This is down towards Auburn again. And as we go through the rest of the afternoon, it looks like about a three or four hour window. See, it, it turns into none because the uh, air becomes more stable. So around here, let's back this up. This is going to be about 10 o'clock Monday morning for North Alabama. It's got us in marginal severe threat. So that's one thing we'll watch. And, and I'm thinking probably gusty winds, 45, maybe 50 miles an hour if we get more instability up here. But then we're really lacking instability. Now, a lot of that's going to be due to that overnight rain Sunday night into Monday that's going to keep us a little more stable. But even our dew point here around noon on Monday climbs back up to uh, 60 degrees here. We continue with a marginal threat for severe weather. And the cape, surface capes going up to 400. So if we get... If we get sunshine uh, Monday late morning ahead of this, and if it continues to slow down, uh, we'll have to definitely watch that, that threat for severe weather. One other thing before I go here, and this is Monday, North Alabama, I want to take a look at um, the winds in the, the mid-levels, just because that's going to, I want to see, let's see, I'm covering, my camera's covering me up here, upper level aerodynamics. Let's take a look at the, uh, put my glasses on so I can see it better. What I'm wanting to see, and it's not showing me the, it's not showing me the, the upper level winds that I wanna see. So we'll just take a look at the 500 millibar pattern here and move that through. So what this is gonna show you is the energy, these waves coming through and what I'm wanting to see, here comes the big wave here. This is Monday. Look at that bowling ball coming in. So let me take a look nationally here. I want to see what kind of trough we've got coming through here. So you can see the first wave coming in. This is moving into Texas Sunday. That's, again, that is it. That's our threat coming in. That definitely looks a lot more ominous than what we're going to see early in the weekend. So that bowling ball comes at us, and this it's a positive tilt here, but you see, there's another kind of wave up here to the north in the Great Lakes, and I think those may phase. It's possible they could phase into the northeast. But again, this is a fairly stout storm system. I want to get real close here uh, locally here and show you the rainfall before I go. As we get into Monday... So here is, here's the storm system Monday. And this low, I mean, the models are struggling a little bit with how far south it's going to be, how strong it's going to be. But again, I just wanted to record this for you guys. I'll keep you up to date over the weekend. I'll be out at the Rocket City Weather Fest tomorrow. That begins at uh, 10 o'clock over there at UAH, the campus there in Huntsville. But uh, again, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, overall... Just uh, have a good weekend, everybody. Again, the threat for severe weather this time of year, it can happen really quickly. So just want to make sure you guys are aware.